In this video, you're going to learn about dynamic time projections and the DT time bands. DT's dynamic time projection report and the DT time band features will help identify high probability time targets for trend reversal and cycle highs and lows. Both of these features are unique and exclusive to Dynamic Trader and project narrow ranges of time for high probability time targets for trend reversal. Let's take a look at these two unique features. First, let me show you the Dynamic Time Projection Report. It's a routine that I developed, oh, from around the late 80s into the mid 90s to help identify high probability narrow range times for trend reversals, uh, particularly if you have a one of the simple Elliott wave structures, threes or fives, uh, something along those lines. It will help to identify the end of that particular structure, that particular pattern. And like uh, just about all of our routines in Dynamic Trader, it's applicable to any market in any time frame. Here I have 240-minute uh, data of the euro up. And let's say we believe we've got a uh, probable uh, four wave, one, two, three, four wave structure, and we want to project the high probability time for a wave five. Well, our dynamic time projection report is just made for those sorts of time projections. And uh, we have a number of reports. We'll take a look at a couple more of those in our upcoming videos. But dynamic time projection, I'm going to I'm going to uh, do it for a, uh, make a projection for a probable wave five. And uh, whoops, we already had it loaded in there. Let me just take remove that window. Um, and wherever the highest bars are, that's the highest probability time. Uh, for the trend reversal and the end of this five wave structure. Now, we don't always hit this close, needless to say. This is a fairly recent one for the euro. I, I follow the euro on a daily basis, so I'm always looking for time targets for reversals on the euro. And of course, we follow it in our DT reports as well. But we'll usually be fairly close to uh, the, the time re reversal of any one of these typical sort of patterns or structures. So this is another routine that's completely unique with Dynamic Trader, our Dynamic Time Projection Report. And uh, we have a lot of users who use this, even on quite short-term data, um, short-term intraday data. Uh, as well as daily and weekly data to find those fairly narrow range periods of time for a high probability of a trend reversal. So here's another uh, dynamic time projection I did just on 15 minute data uh, for the ES, the S&P E-mini. And it's kind of interesting, I wanted to show you here how um, I teach over and over again about multiple time frames and how we look at all of our analysis and trade strategies should be from a multiple time frame uh, perspective. And so here I've made two different dynamic time projections. One for a wave four high made from this wave four low, and that's the dynamic time projection wave four here. And it shows these are the highest probability bars on this 15 minute data uh, for a probable wave four high. And then I did a projection from the wave C low for a possible or probable wave C. And these are the high probability time target for a wave C. And the end of the wave four projection overlaps with the beginning of the wave C projection. Uh, if the market came, let me back up the data a little bit. If we're as of the last bar in this chart, maybe I should get rid of the swings for now. Uh, the last bar on the chart, we could say that we're very near the end of a time target to complete a wave C of a wave four, um, assuming this is a one, two, three, f uh, three in Elliott wave terms and a A and a B. Well, we never know what a wave structure is until after it's complete, but it fits all the rules and guidelines as I teach in our educational material. So we would know as of that bar, we want to be prepared for the end of the time. We're getting near the extreme of the time for a wave four. Um, we don't hit every one of them right on the nose, but 
we were certainly within a couple bars of completing this ABC correction before the market continued lower uh, and, and to make a new low. And how, how useful do you think that information would be to you to be aware that, as W.D. Gann said, when, when time runs out, change is inevitable. For you to know when time is running out based on our dynamic time projections. So this is completely unique to dynamic trader program, and of course we use it on uh, all actively traded markets in, in any time frame. Another completely unique feature in our routine in dynamic trader is the DT time bands. And time bands uh, analysis is more closely related to what we might consider more traditional time cycle analysis in which it looks for relatively narrow ranges uh, of a few bars to identify in advance again high probability time zone for a high or for a low based on recent cycles in the market. Now in our uh, DT owners videos we teach you uh, much more details about time bands but the result is uh, DT uh, will measure, uh, the user will measure the high to low ranges and the low to low ranges and high to high ranges, etc. Put it in the time band uh, uh, menu and then it will project forward high probability period for a high. So for instance on this 60 minute ES data, this date range in the middle, which would be October 1st from 1600 to 2000 or 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the evening, would be the high probability time to complete the next hourly high. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's exactly when it occurred. So it's displayed both, both as these overlapping bars in an indicator window as well as the exact time period uh, down below. And uh, we like to combine this with an indicator, momentum indicator, just as Bressert did in fact in his kind of famous book about time cycles and oscillators uh, for the hook to identify if that time cycle is complete. So for instance uh, we've made a bearish reversal in our DT oscillator um, just after the market peaked during this time band for a high, so we have some double confirmation that we've completed at least an hourly high in the market. And again, we can use our DT time bands for any market and any time frame. Completely unique to dynamic traders, and we teach you all about time bands in our educational material that's uh, and videos that's included with the software, as well as for those of you who have the high probability trading strategies book, uh, we taught you about DT time bands in that book as well. Well, those are two more of the unique time analysis routines that are available only in Dynamic Traders program, uh, the Dynamic Time Projection Report and the DT Time Bands. And some of our DT users over the years have said that just these routines itself are worth the price of the software because they're uh, so easy to use, so quick to come up with these time targets and uh, they're, they're so accurate uh, and, and we want everybody to learn how to use these routines because you are then a step ahead of uh, almost any other kind of time analysis in any other program. Many DT users think the dynamic time projection and DT time band features are so valuable they're worth the price of the DT software just themselves. And with the DT time features, traders are prepared in advance for the high probability time targets for trend reversal in any market in any time frame. And of course we have additional educational material for all of the DT time features in uh, our trading course material that's included with the software, included, uh, including the training videos on the DT owner's password protected site.